happening. Elite Alpha Tail, PYT 13. Let's just get a nice low number card. Bulls for Flood the Attic. Bulls for Flood. Knicks for Vinny Sign. All right. Breaker Broker. You guys are all good. Let me know when you guys send. I'll mark it off. <laughs> True. It's a battle. It's a battle of the house. Are we flooding the attic or are we in the basement? Or where are we flooding the attic in the basement? Take your full case, IMAX. Let's go. <laughs> uh, that's funny. It's got to be you, Breaker Bro. Why is Breaker Broker so nice? There's Harrison. What up, Harrison? How you doing? We were talking about you earlier. Hooks was in the room. He likes meat too, so we were having a meat conversation. And you were not around. I was like, where the hell is Harrison at? Guys, take your opulence, take your IMAX, take your elite FOTL. Take your take your opulence, please. Take your noir. We only got a few teams left in the opulence, guys. I'm gonna end up taking the uh wizard myself. We can get the other ones off. Got to figure it out. Did full case number two? Oh, no, no. Full case number two is down the screen. We're filling it right now, S'more. We're filling it out. We still got like, uh, we still got a decent amount of teams left, including the Steelers, which I'm surprised. Steelers did it very well last case. Very well on the last one. Red meat? That's not good for you. That's not good for you. Why do I picture Harrison as like this big burly dude? Like with this gigantic beard and like he carries around like an axe. Is it like Harrison Bunyan? You know, he walks outside. He probably lives in the in the wild. Gotta live in the wild. Somehow he has internet. You know, and then he's like, maybe he's a secret spy for CIA too on top of it. That's how I picture Harrison. That's my guess. Definitely out in the woods with Nax for sure. I don't know why, but you're definitely in the woods with Nax. What's up, David? Come join. Eh, eh. David, I hate to say, join them here. I don't mind people supporting him, obviously, but, you know, we got our own breaks to fill, too. So. All right, let's roll. Let's roll. I think all is true. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's funny. Now, let's see. I did that. I did that. I did that. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what any of that means. What does that mean? Immaculate's going next. We're doing elites. We're doing elites, Zach. <laughs> Our favorites. We got a two-boxer full. We're going to rip this quickly and we're back to the Immaculate, Zach. We got the two boxer guys, two boxer number six, and the full case number two. Going to go next. Going to go next. Robert Williams. Reggie Bullock. Walker Kessler for the Jazz. There you go. There you go. Bass. Bass gets a Kessler. Can we parlay that into a Benedict Matherin, too, or no? What do you think? We have Mike Conley, 35 of 49. Bass doesn't even want that one. 
Bash your two for two. What's happening? He gets all the cards. The bass break. Luca. Cam Thomas. This is an easy break. Isaiah Mobley for the Cavs. Yeah, leap first off the line is an easy break, guys. So take keep taking your leap first off the lines. We're gonna run through a couple of cases of these. Probably everything in the store. Plus more. And we have Cade Cunningham, Power Formulas. Not numbered. I thought it'd be numbered. Maybe not. Guys, who thinks Cade's a buy? First exclusive. 9 to 17. Chris Paul for the Suns. There you go. Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff. Front number or back numbering more? Um, I like the front numbering more in elites. Only in elite, though. Ryan Rollins. I got to make sure there's nothing. Yeah, I like the front. I would like them to be consistent, though, personally. Wagner. Like, I'd rather have them be all or nothing, front or back. Ant-Man. Because some of them have, like, the inserts are on the back. You know, it's weird. Yeah, Cade's definitely a buy. I think he's, I think he's a stud. I can't believe people just, like, what have you done for me lately stuff? What's this white thing? What's that white thing? Set that down. The white thing looks like a white thing, guys. Is Josh still a superstar? By the way, and don't get me wrong, I'm not promoting, I'm not all for what he did or how he did it. Star status LeBron. But I will say, just like typical America, let's relax. Maybe relax and meditate. 12 of 17, OG Ananobi for Toronto. He made a mistake. He's going to get in trouble for it. Let's not cancel his ass, Oak Cliff Town. Let's not cancel him. Let's move on. He'll pay his dues. He'll be in trouble. And he'll play basketball because he's one hell of a basketball player. All right. That's my take on that. Jaws tainted. Jaws tainted. Yeah, let's relax. Everybody relax on Ja. Jaws an insane superstar. Made a mistake. His dad doesn't help his situation. And honestly, I mean... Let's say, all right, let me ask you this question because I, I, I don't know the laws or whatever, obviously. So Denver having the gun in the nightclub was probably illegal for one, right? That's probably illegal. You probably can't have a gun in a nightclub. That'd be my guess. So that's mistake number one. It's, yeah, I'd say let us pay his dues and move on. So, so having the gun is illegal. And obviously taking the gun on the, on the team plane is illegal. However... Can they match that up and guarantee that was his exact gun or just a gun? Can he just say that was a different gun? I mean, in general, I mean, he he didn't do anything to anybody personally. Like, is what he did wrong and like idiotic? Of course, of course. But you know what? We've all done some dumb shit, you know? I would like to see them just relax a little bit. Give him a suspension, you know? Let him come back, play in the playoffs, move on, you know? So... Yeah, but if they're role models, you know, if some people are looking up to these guys like they used to back in the day, you know, they're, like, that's a tough spot. It's a tough spot there, you know. I don't know. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I think now's the time to buy a job. I, I, maybe it was a private room, Brooks. I'm just saying, I don't know. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I don't know the whole situation. Let's show this redemption before Bass passes out. Pin Pals, E.J. Liddell, E.J. Liddell, you know, my take is, so he did two things wrong, he took it on the plane, he brandished it in public at a, at a nightclub, well, at that nightclub, let's say he was in a private room, doesn't make it okay, you know, oh, thank you, Meech, there you go, so that doesn't make it okay, doesn't make it like it's gonna go away, he did a dumb thing while drinking, I mean, if you if you watch these guys' TikToks and all the if you watch all their stuff and you're saying like they're role models, they're doing a hell of a lot of dumb shit. You know, Jalen with the Y. They're doing a hell of a lot of dumb stuff in general without having to do this. Meaning if you just watch them out and about with their boys, you know, and they're out hanging out, they're doing ignorant stuff anyway. So if there's someone's role model, there's a problem right there. And then beyond that, so he brandishes a firearm. Well, I mean it's a crowd he's hanging with and what he's doing, in my opinion. 
But that doesn't take away his talent on the court. It doesn't take away he's a hell of a basketball player. I think people need to just kind of relax, you know? Relax. Relax and meditate. Where's relax and meditate at, you know? So, all right, let's go. Let's go. I was hoping that was going to be Benedict right there, by the way. So, this is good stuff so far. There, there's a pen pal, though. That was nice. There's a Steph. What do we have here? Ooh. 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 Hello. Hello, Ivy. Craig Zakvik. Let's go, Craig. Nice hit. No, yeah, I hear you, man. But honestly, I'll tell you what. As far as we're all on social media, right? For the most part, everybody's on social media now. This isn't the 80s when only the guys on TV were seen. Because guess what? We're all seen every day, all day by thousands of people. Myself included. So if I act like a moron, I'm gonna, you know, I'm I'm gonna be looked at like as, as an idiot, you know. Wiggins is 17. However, I just think they should let him play. Well. Yeah, because you never saw them, Campbell. You know how many times Jordan's off gambling off in Atlantic City? And in, in like insanely gam gambling? Is that you want that to be a role model? A habitual gambler? Was that your role model, or is it because they weren't on TV? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that Jordan did. Jordan's not a damn saint, you know? Yeah, yeah. That Back in the day, man, these guys were idiots as well. It's, it's, it's just a different generation right now. We all have phones. Everybody sees everything. Everybody knows what's going on in everybody's life. Derek Harper, we could have done without that. Derek Harper probably got in trouble <laughs> with Rodman. We heard stories about Rodman. What if, nice chat, what if there was cameras with Rodman back in the day? What if people had iPhones? What do you think they're going to catch Rodman doing? That would have been actually fun. Would we have canceled Dennis Rodman back in the day? So would he have never been Dennis Rodman that he was? So. Julius Randle, purple to 17. That's just my curious question because I feel you, man. I don't, I don't want... Um, Joel Embiid, Glass Masters. That sounds like a fishing guy. Ain't that right, Bass? Bass Masters? Um, yeah, I mean, I think he's a moron, obviously, for doing it. But Steph, that's a nice Steph. However, at the end of the day, it's like, just let, let, let him play basketball. He'll be in trouble, but move on. Like, you don't cancel him all the way through. All right, we have Richardson. I do like the conversation, though, because... I'm trying not to be too vocal about it because I don't know the whole story either, you know. Who's messing with Jordan? Ja, blue of Max Christie, rookie to 99. Nice for the Lakers. Bones. Blue of Tyrese Maxey to 99. I wish I could read this chat, though. I don't know why I started this while I was breaking. Why did I start this chat while I was breaking, damn it? I think I saw a Ja card. Trey Young power formulas. We're marking it. All right, not a bad little break. Nice little two boxer, guys. Take your next two boxers. Let me case these up and try to read the chat. Let's see. Malone, Post Malone or Carl Malone? <laughs> Which one? Which Malone? <laughs> um, imagine, uh, imagine Paul Pierce. Can we talk about Paul Pierce or do we leave him out of it? Uh, do we? Uh, should we talk about R. Kelly? I don't. What's, what's happening? You know. Ooh, who's nuts? Who's nuts? Are we on? I don't see this. Yeah, Jordan's obviously the GOAT, but let's not say Jordan didn't have any faults, you know? I actually agree, D. Lee. I think uh, Jalen Rose's words were correct, you know? Oh, what did Carl Malone do? I might have missed that part. What did he do? Uh, if you're talking about he, he uh, y you know rumored to have pulled a gun out on someone else you know let's talk about the no call in the super bowl again yeah let's call about that one again let's cancel the damn let's cancel the chiefs too while we're at it <laughs> let me see what malone did oh yeah ah you know i think i did hear about that that's that's like doing something to somebody else obviously you know what up zach Vic? let's recap would you like me to i got you i can beat the sword for you zach Vick. let's go craig Ivy Pen Pal, that's a monster. Lydell, Conley, Mobley, Chris Paul, Rollins, Ananobi. 
Yeah, that that's that's where you draw the line. That's like 